Now, Nintendo has been seeing a lot of success with the Switch. Their latest console has sold nearly 2.5 million units worldwide and over 906,000 units in March in the United States alone. Thus far, it's Nintendo's fastest selling system. However, the Switch hasn't been Nintendo's only recent hardware success. They've also sold a lot of the NES Classic, a home console that's modeled on the old Nintendo Entertainment System that comes with NES games built in. The device sold over a million and a half units, far better, it seems, than Nintendo was anticipating. It's still sold out in most places, and instead of increasing the supply of the NES Classic, Nintendo is getting rid of it. In a statement made to IGN, a Nintendo spokesperson said that the NES Classic Edition wasn't intended to be an ongoing long-term product. However, due to high demand, we did add extra shipments to our original plans. Speaking as a fan of Nintendo, this doesn't surprise me, but it does disappoint me. Nintendo's inflexibility is to their detriment. They're like Apple if Apple drew the wrong conclusions from its market research. I have friends, non-gamer friends, mind you, who want the NES Classic, but haven't been able to find it anywhere. Why would Nintendo pull such a successful device off the market? It may be a case of farts, that is, forced, artificial scarcity. Much like when Disney would put their movies in the so-called Disney Vault, taking a thing that's in high demand and making it hard to get in order to keep demand high. Perhaps in a couple years we'll see a new NES Classic with other games, or maybe we'll see an SNES Classic? What do you think? Is Nintendo making a dumb decision, or is this brilliant but frustrating business? Hit us up on Twitter at OneRuleBeCool and let us know.